Thomas and Friends, Snowy Tracks. It had snow all night on the island of Sudor. At Edmond's shed, the engines look out. The trees were white, the cottages were white, and the railway tracks were hidden under a blanket of the white snow too. Sir Tolfan had asked Thomas to deliver a firewood to the station and told Gordon to take some cars to the docks. You are a strong engine, Gordon, said Sir Thorfinn Hatt, as he left, but snow is slippery. Avoid the hills and puff the long way around. Gordon pumped his pestles proudly. I'm going straight to the docks, he said to Thomas. I am strong. I am the best. I can easily steam over any hill I come to. But Thomas was worried. He'd heard what Sir Thorfinn had, had said, and he knew that snow could be dangerous. But of Gordon's half soon he came to a hill. This hill is a two step for me, he bumped. I'll steam over it. Gordon chopped to the top without any problems, but going down the other side wasn't so easy. Gordon's wheel slipped and slipped. Gordon went faster and faster. Spencer was huffing up the hill toward him. Slow down, Gordon! Spencer shouted. But Gordon couldn't slow down. Gordon swished past Spencer spraying him with slushy snow. Splash, splash! And on Gordon race. Gordon managed to slow down, but it wasn't long before he came to the biggest hill on the island. Snow is soft and I am strong. It won't bother me, he muttered. But as Gordon pushed up the hill through the snow, it became a snowball. The snowball grew bigger and bigger. Thomas came up behind Gordon on the hill. Thank you for clearing the track, said Thomas. But then, there was trouble. The giant snowball was too big and too heavy. Gordon could go no farther. Then the snowball began to push Gordon back down the hill again. Watch out, Thomas! He shouted. Gordon was pushed back faster and faster. So Thomas chopped back faster and faster until Gordon grew into siding and scratch. The snowball bashed into Thomas. It knocked him right off the rails. Gordon tried to shunt Thomas in his tracks of firework back onto the track, but he wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry, Thomas, but Gordon sadly, I'm not strong, and I'm not the best. I'll find Rocky. He's better at this than me. Gordon found Rocky at the docks. He dropped off his cars and shouted Rocky back to Thomas. With his long crane arm, Rocky held and held until Thomas was back on the tracks. Thomas thanked Rocky. Now I must deliver my firework, he said. I'm very late and the station workers will be cold. I'll help you, Thomas, said Gordon kindly. So off the path, carefully through the snow. Together they delivered firewood to all the stations, and when they came to the hill, they always passed around it. The end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more books read aloud.